Hey guys, wanted to do a quick walk around my X525 quad. I got this frame from somebody on RC Groups and then I also found this frame on Amazon. I think Hobby King sells it as well. It's just basically two pieces of, looks like, like fiberglass and um, these aluminum arms mounted with uh, these uh, fiberglass motor mounts and, and landing gear. Let's talk about the engines. These are the, the Turnigy D2830 11s. They say 1100 kV, they're 1000. They mislabeled them according to, to uh, Hobby King. Uh, this also got the, uh, the Hobby King uh, 30 amp Ubex on there, flash with Simon K. And it's put together, these are all running into a power distribution board that goes down to uh, the battery and the LiPo here. And I created a little um, camera battery tray, and this came from uh, Flight Test. Uh, and they did a little episode about making a, uh, a dampener. And I used the basically like uh, mirror or sign, you know, uh, uh, picture wire. And I cut it, soldered it together, and put it on this little tray right here. And so when the plane is flying, it's sucking up all the vibration through the little wires, and I get really smooth fit video, and I'll show you some of that video. On top here, I took a Tupperware container, painted it, and mounted it on top. There's my um, Cryos multi WSC board, and that's just mounted with uh, some double-sided foamy tape and a little thing over the, uh, the, bar the barometer so I can get some um, height hold. Still tuning that. And I'm running a, a FR Sky on there. Have a Bluetooth module. And this little thing is great because uh, if, you, if you get in a crash, um, you can you know, ensure that you're not gonna destroy your flight board which has happened to me before. So that's about it. And uh, I've got it tuned up now, so it's flying really nice. Uh, and I plan on taking this little baby FPV real soon. I've got a video transmitter to go on it. So that's the X25. And um, just let me know if you want me to do any more videos about how to build this thing here and stick this thing on there. It's really simple. I mean, just drilling some holes and using the nylon stands to, to mount it. Um, and it works really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do some flight footage uh, and I'm gonna do, show you it, how it flies and then show you on board. Gains are a little bit high. That's okay, I like it that way. It's gonna fly nice and smooth FPV. It almost sticks off. It's got a little bit of drift, but uh, it's, it's responsive yet controllable, so I can get it through tight spots. See, 
auto level mode that sticks all the way to either side so you can see it's it's fighting it a little bit it's got so much lift I'm running 10 and 10 by four and a half slow uh, slow fly props and um, really I should only have like nine inch but they seem to handle it okay so I'll take the extra lift Getting about 10 minutes flight out of it. And that's it. But that's, that's the, uh, the 525. So I hope you like the video. And uh, if you get this frame, it's, you, know, you can get it to perform really well. And good luck out there. And hope to bring you some more videos.